The SLJ-900-32, known as the Iron Monster, is a massive construction machine used for lifting and installing large bridge sections. It's designed for precision and efficiency in bridge construction, reducing time and labor. Cabelco Large Size SK3500D Demolition Machine is a powerful and precise demolition machine used for dismantling large structures, equipped with a high-reach arm and various attachments for efficient and safe demolition operations. The S-64 Skycrane is a versatile and powerful heavy lift helicopter used in transporting large and heavy cargo loads, firefighting, construction, and other special missions. Its dual rotor design and cargo hook are capable of lifting and carrying significant loads. The RK5000 Bucket Chain Excavator is a large machine used in mining and construction. It has a chain of buckets that continuously dig and transport materials, making it efficient for extracting large quantities of earth, rock, or minerals in open pit mining operations. The Diamond ZDZT621 Trommel is a machine used for screening and sorting materials like soil, compost, and waste. It has a rotating drum with perforated screens and a rear stacking conveyor that can move 180 degrees for efficient material handling and stacking. It's commonly used in recycling and composting operations.
The Lorem Ballast Cleaner SBC35 is a railway maintenance machine that cleans and restores the ballast beneath railroad tracks. It collects, screens, and separates materials, returning clean ballast to the track bed while removing contaminants and debris, ensuring safe and efficient railway operations. The Gamaco CHP2800 is a high-production slipform paver used for efficiently creating continuous concrete pavements in various construction projects, including highways and runways. It features advanced controls and sensors for precise concrete placement and finishing. The Panther Series 2360-ton low loader is a heavy-duty trailer designed to transport extremely large and heavy equipment or machinery. It has a low deck height and multiple axles to handle oversized cargo safely and is commonly used in industries like heavy construction and mining.
Have you ever wondered how tunnels are built underwater? It's a complex process that requires careful planning, advanced technology, and skilled workers. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the construction of underwater tunnels. The first step in building an underwater tunnel is to excavate a trench in the seabed. With the trench prepared and inspected, it's time to start building the tunnel itself. This is usually done using a tunnel boring machine, TBM, which is a massive piece of equipment that can tunnel through rock, sand, and other materials. It's a challenging process that requires a lot of expertise and specialized equipment, but the end result is a safe and reliable way to travel underwater. Bridges are crucial for connecting cities and regions, but building them can be a time-consuming and expensive process. However, with advances in technology, bridge construction has become faster and more efficient than ever before. With SPMTs, bridge components can be moved into place with precision and speed, reducing the need for large cranes and other heavy equipment. This makes construction safer and more efficient, while also reducing costs. And that's just a few examples of the amazing modern bridge construction technology that's revolutionizing the industry. With these techniques, bridges can be built faster, safer, and more efficiently than ever before, connecting communities and improving transportation infrastructure around the world. Building underwater is not an easy task. So how do they make tunnels underwater? How do they build bridges underwater? The next time you cross a large bridge, remember that its foundation was placed underwater. How do engineers build bridges? You can see it with your own eyes if you want. Let's take a trip to a construction site. The modular structure of this stadium 974 consists of a steel structure with recycled parts and shipping containers. Stadium 974, quite interestingly, is completely removable after use. The stadium is the first fully portable stadium in World Cup history. The stadium was built using shipping containers and modular steel frames, reflecting Qatar's maritime history. The design of the stadium makes it visually appealing given that less material is used compared to a traditional stadium. By leveraging these technologies, it's possible to build bridges faster, safer, and more efficiently than ever before, connecting communities and improving transportation infrastructure around the world. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the process of laying pipes on the ocean floor, also known as marine pipe laying. 
This process is used to transport oil, gas, and other materials across the ocean. After the pipeline is installed, it's often buried beneath the ocean floor to protect it from damage and to minimize its impact on marine life. This is done using a specialized trenching tool that digs a trench in the ocean floor and then buries the pipe inside. Finally, after the pipe is installed and buried, it's inspected regularly to ensure that it's functioning properly. Maintenance crews also periodically visit the pipeline to perform any necessary repairs or upgrades. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the process of road construction, one of the most important infrastructure projects in modern society. After the asphalt is produced, it's transported to the construction site and laid down in a process called paving. This involves spreading the asphalt over the prepared roadbed and compacting it with heavy machinery to create a smooth, even surface. That's the road construction process in a nutshell. It's a complex and time-consuming process that requires careful planning, precise engineering, and skilled labor, but it's essential for creating the transportation infrastructure that connects our communities and keeps our economies moving forward. In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of the most amazing heavy equipment used in construction and other industries. Dump trucks are also an essential piece of heavy equipment, and they're used to transport large quantities of materials, such as dirt, rock, and gravel, from one location to another. They're equipped with large, hydraulically operated beds that can be tilted to unload their contents.